and take responsibility. I had, I had two choices, and what I was telling Jeff is like, I wish that my decision to like lay down and give up was a four second decision to not do that, like John Tong did, but it, it wasn't true. I went through a really, really tough period, and, um, and I leaned on a lot of you in the room, and I'm so grateful for you all. You probably thought I was whiny, but I'm, I'm over it, and I love you so much more for um, your leadership and your strength. Um, but anyways, um, I, I, want you, I want to give you these two takeaways, you know? And that is, the first thing is just to be patient with processes. They take time. And the only difference between you and me and, is that I'm not like any more capable than any person in this room because you know I've hit the millionaire club or whatever. Um, I just have been in it and invested in it for longer. So it's I'm really the, the compound effect. I'm the result of, of compounded, consistent effort over time. And, and a lot of you will far outperform me when we hit that point. But we're all on parallel paths, so you know, be patient because the dividends are gonna pay out huge in the long run. And the second thing that I'll tell you is don't forget the people. You know, we're all people and let's all like really love on our coaches and mentor them and nurture them and develop them. You know, let's just not like stuff our pipeline with a bunch of coaches and hope that the cream rises to the crop or to the top. There's people like me in your downline that needed to be developed and needed to be recognized and, and maybe nudged and nurtured because I was resisting that uncomfortable state. And send you emojis. And send me lots of emojis. I better have a ton in my phone when I get backstage. Well, I, I think that as I was Monica and after we come to be invited Monica to be here was that, that we were on the phone one day and we were just talking about perspective and talking about you know, some of the stuff that has happened and, and she just shared this great perspective of, of being open and about saying, you know what, I wasn't very good at that and I learned that I had to go back and reconnect and re-recruit my people and that's the piece that, that mattered the most and I just thought, one, the humility and the openness and the awareness of that is, you know, you read any great books about leadership, 